So I'm going to go to my portal. I'm going to start by going to dateschools.net. You're going to click on students. I'm going to click on employees. And I'm going to log into my portal that way. Oops, mine already signed me in automatically, but I'm going to go ahead and log out and show you guys that process. I know all of you know how to log into date schools because that's how we're taking attendance. Okay, so I'm going to log in <clears throat> with my username and my password. I'm going to click login. And guys, please make sure you do that in order for your attendance to work as well. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on apps, services, and sites. And I'm going to look for Mayan. This is an ABC order or alphabetical order. So I'm going to scroll down because I know that the letter M is after the letter G and after the letter K. And I'm going to look right here in the letter M and I found Mayan. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Great. Now your home screen, this section right here is going to look very different on your computer than it looks on mine. What's going to be the same are these tabs up here at the top. So I want you to click on library and I want you to click on the button that says browse. Once you click on browse, this is super cool. You get to pick what type of books and what genre you want to read, right? So you can pick between fiction or nonfiction and um, the types of books in those categories. I'm going to go with fiction. I love reading fake stories that are not real. I love everything about characters. And I'm going to click on, I want to read a fiction text about animals. I love reading books about dinosaurs. So I'm going to click on dinosaurs. And looks like this book looks very interesting. And remember, guys, we want you to pick books that are interesting to you to read. That's reading is fun. It's you, you get into you get to go into like this world of possibilities and it's all through the books that you get to pick. So I'm not going to click on read or the green button yet because I need to check if this book is an AR book that will allow me to take an AR quiz. So I'm going to click on the blue button that says I info. And once I get here, I'm going to click on the I button again. That's right up here. I details. OK. If I don't put my mouse over it, it's just the letter I. When I put my mouse over it, it says details. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to see here that this book is a 1.7 reading level. OK, remember Miss Aguiar's ZPD range? I've changed it maybe two times. In the beginning, it was a 3.5 to a 4.5. For this book, it was a 2.0 to 3.0. Your ZPD does not change. But because I'm showing you guys this and I want this video to be short, Let's pretend that my ZPD range is a 1.0 to a 2.0. Can I read this book? Yes, I can, okay? Um, so if there is nothing there, if there's a dash or a line next to the word ATOS, that means that it is not an AR book. You can still read it because books are still fun, but you will not be able to take an AR quiz on that book. This book is worth 0 0.5 points, and this is the AR quiz number. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down. The book number um, is 104393. Remember, the reason why you're writing down this book number is because it's going to be a lot easier to find this book on AR when it's time to take a quiz. All right, let's go ahead and start reading the book. Actually, I'm going to pause there. What do good readers do before they start reading a book? They make a prediction. And the reason why we make predictions, boys and girls, before we read a book is because it's going to help us understand the book while we're reading it. If we're making a prediction before we read, as we're reading, we're going to really pay attention to those details on the page to see if our prediction is right or wrong. So that's why it's very important to make a prediction before you start reading. So the only reason why I'm going to click read is because I want to see this um, title of this book a little bit closer.